Hello, I'm a BX Toy Cat, and welcome back to the Secret Feature video. These are videos I make on my channel every single time an update comes out for Minecraft on the console to learn about all of the features that were included in that most recent update, but that weren't on the official changelog. These are so-called secret features because the only way to come across them is to either stumble across them in the game by yourself or to watch one of these videos. And in today's video, I have five more secret changes in TU49. They're all kind of minor, but it's really weird that none of them were on the changelog, and I figured in case you're curious about this sort of stuff, you can watch today's video and learn exactly what they all are. So hopefully you all do enjoy it, like the video if you do, because it helps out the channel a lot, and let's know you do like these sorts of, again, secret feature videos. I want to see them at every update, whether they're small features or big ones, because I think it's important to know about these regardless, because they're small changes you won't notice until you go to play around with them. Like this first one, for instance, which is to do with the uh, the shovel or with the swords and stuff, because basically now, uh, you know, you're in, if these things are enchanted, like they are in Tumble, you'll notice them a lot more strongly. So yeah, I noticed this for the first time when I played Tumble. I thought, oh, has the shovel always been enchanted? I'm not sure, but it has actually always been enchanted. It's just now you you can see it a lot, lot better. Like, look how purple this shovel actually is right now. It's very, very clear that this is a purple shovel, and that's just something that has, you know, been made more clear this last update. And yeah, this is also clear on swords, and it's clear on anything else you enchant because the purple glow is just a lot more, I guess, shiny now, and you can spot it a lot better, which I think is great because look how great this wood sword looks. Even a diamond sword, I mean, it's not quite so strong here, but on any enchanted tool, it just looks a lot better, and that's something you'll now notice with this update. The second secret feature is to do with the mob heads, though, because uh, the way you hold these in your hand is very very, very slightly different, but it's a lot better now, I think, because before, you would barely be able to see that you were holding the mob head, you know, like, they, they had a console exclusive way to do it, and it wasn't the best, whereas now they've switched over to the PC method, which is great if you want to have consistency, or it's just great because I think it's uh, it's held a bit better, like, it's held facing towards whoever you're looking at, so now whoever you're looking at can see the head, and it, you know, it just, it just, uh, it makes a lot more sense in this way, I think, personally. That is the uh, second secret change, the fact that mob heads are now held in, like, a more clear, obvious way. The third secret change in this update is to do with the fishing rod and the fishing rod with the carrot on the end. Again, it's such a subtle, subtle change. I have no idea why they adjusted it in this, you know, small way or like how that even was spotted. But basically, again, they noticed that the way you held the fishing rod was slightly different to the PC, so they adjusted it. It's only a few degrees, but I'll show you the old screenshot on the new one again, and you'll be like, oh, that is slightly changed. I don't know how people noticed this one because I didn't. Someone told me, and I was like, no, that didn't. And I went back and checked, and I was like, oh, it's very, very subtle. But there is a, you know, a slight little change on the way that the, uh, you know, the fishing rod and the fishing rod with carrot are held. So again, that's <laughs> it, to me. This this is the sort of thing where it gets really weird because how did someone notice that you know in the first place, and why did someone decide to change it? Like I, I'm surprised they're not even spotted that in the first place. But it is one of the things they've decided to fix to make it more uniform with the PC. Like this next uh, little secret change, which is to do with the uh, you know with the uh, the stairs. So uh, yeah, last episode I mentioned how uh, the fence gates have been made larger and the banners and the uh, you know the uh, glass panes have been changed to match the PC too. Uh, but in, in this update, uh, they actually, oh, sorry, the, I actually missed one, which was the stairs, which now all face the other way. So yeah, now by default, stairs face to the left or to the right, depending on how you want to look at it, uh, before they face the other way. Again, I'll show on screen right now. And you're like, oh yeah, I guess they have changed a little bit. One of the small little changes in this last update that also affects how you hold it in your hand too. I think the way you hold it in your hand is just a little bit worse, but maybe when we get used to it, it'll make more sense. But this just feels a bit weird and off to me. Uh, but that is uh, the one of one of these secret changes in this update to do with stairs. And they, they've all changed and it's a bit weird, but that's something you have to get used to now. So uh, yeah, besides those four though, there is one more little secret change. Uh, I guess there's one that kind of ties into all of this, but there's one more secret change, which is to do with the potion. So, in the same way that the, uh, you know, the sword and the shovel and any real weapon has a bigger gleam to it, now the potions have a similar thing. Look how, like, shiny these potions are. Again, this this, this is going to take me a while to get used to. They all look enchanted to me, and I don't know if I like that, but as you can see right here, we've got uh, potions which all look like they're enchanted now. They all shine so, so strongly. Even if it's just a regular potion of leafing, it's going to have this super strong shine to it that you can just see, like, as I'm drinking it, like, whoa, so much purple going on there, uh, because I guess they yeah, they're enchanted potions now, whatever, that's a thing. So, yeah, as well as all of these changes being true for the items themselves, uh, there's also a, it's not really a secret feature, but it's something that I forgot to mention, uh, and it is to do with the fact that all of these changes to do with the items in the inventory uh, look, or the creator menu, will also apply to if you put them in item frames. So if you want to see a shiny, shiny potion, put it in item frame. Do you want to see a glass pane that takes up the entire slot? You can do that too, like, that's what it looks like now. And I think the item frame, uh, you know, kind of appearance on this is actually a really positive one, because, again, all of these ones, besides maybe the stairs, actually do look significantly better, and that's a cool little change right there. Also, the fences are very slightly larger, and uh, yeah, if, if you want to see these uh, blocks, you can put them in, uh, I guess you can put them in the uh, you know the uh, fence, get, sorry, in the item frame, and you'll see stuff work just a bit better. But that is all for today's video. I hope you did all enjoy it. Like the video if you did, because it helps out the channel a lot, and let us know you do like these uh, seeing these secret features. Share the video if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here, because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel, and if subscribed, you'll see those daily on your homepage. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll 
I'll see you next time. Bye.